Hey fellas, fun fact, I'm uploading weekly and I'm doing shorts now. So come so join me as I ascend the mortal plane by doing PC optimizations. Also join my Discord server. Also subscribe to the channel. Also here's the video. What's up guys, my name is Signs and today I shall teach you how to optimize your mouse. <sighs> Or at least I would. Except, I'm afraid we have a much more pressing matter at hand. Guys, I want you to watch something. Your data queue size just determines how fast your computer reacts to information sent by your mouse or your keyboard. What? Do you see what just happened here? Do you see what has transpired? This is not the prophecy. Guys, I'm afraid that recently the tweaking community has been overrun by a terrifying disease. Bastard brain. This illness takes over the brains of PC optimizers and reduces them into absolute bastards. Whether it be through spreading false info, fake benchmarks, or just overall bastardness. And recently, it's been spreading like crazy. Thank God I support euthanization. Now, you're probably thinking, hey signs, if this disease is so terrible and so contagious, then why don't you have it? Don't you ever question my intelligence again, you bastard brain piece of- What I mean to say is, as you all should know, I am a genius. I know this is true because when I was in third grade, I got an A plus on my math test and I've been riding that wave ever since. Guys, my genius brain is clearly far too large to be affected by bastard brain, which is why even in the midst of this crisis, I continue to be the greatest PC optimizer ever. No wonder I have millions of subscribers. And it's because of all this, I've decided this video will not be about how to optimize your mouse, but instead about how to optimize your mouse the right way, because these people just suck. All right, boys, let's get right into it. How do we make our mouse feel like the second coming of Christ? The first step is to join my Discord, link in the description, then head over to the YouTube Tweaks channel. And at the very bottom here, it'll be like mouseoptimization.zip. It's not in here right now. This one says how to reduce input lag. This is for another video. It'll be here at the very bottom. Just find the just find the file related to the video here at the bottom and download it, then extract it with 7-zip and put it on your desktop. Then we just wanna go ahead and open it up. The first thing I have in here is the mouse software. So go ahead and open this up. What you'll need to do is Google, does my mouse have onboard memory? And just see if your mouse has onboard memory. In short terms, what onboard memory does is it means your mouse can remember the settings without having to have that software open. Ideally, we don't want to have this software open, but we are going to need to download some software just to configure it. So if your mouse does have onboard memory, then we'll uninstall the software completely once we're done, just so we don't have that bloat in our system. So once you have your mouse software downloaded, in my instance, I'm using the Flickfire mouse here. Go ahead and open up the software. It's pretty much going to be the same for every mouse. Of course, the layout's going to be slightly different. If you do have a debounce time setting, make sure it's at the lowest or second lowest setting it can possibly go to. I believe Logitech and Razer mice don't have this setting, but it's automatically set to one, so don't even worry about it. Also, we want to make sure motion sync is off, auto sleep is off. Head over to performance. I'd recommend using minimum 1600 DPI and then just lowering your Windows mouse sensitivity and your in-game sensitivity. The reason why we want to go to 1600 instead of just like 400 or even 800 is simply put, it's just better tracking. High DPI sensors are more accurate at fast speeds, but it does fall off the higher you go. There's other videos out there with research on this, but basically to keep it simple, 1600 is a sweet spot. The next thing we're going to want to do is go to your polling rate. I'd recommend setting this to 2000. Intel CPUs can handle 4000. And if you're really optimized, you can maybe even do 8000 as well. But for 99% of us, there's really no benefit to this. And I'd recommend just keeping it at 2000. Higher polling rate can cause FPS stutters and other random weird issues. And like I said, there's really no benefit. This LOD means lift off distance. It means how high you can lift the mouse off the mouse pad before it stops tracking. I have custom mouse feet on my mouse, so I need this at two millimeters for it to detect. However, for 99% of you guys, just go ahead and keep that on one millimeter. If you have anything that looks like this ripple control light control basically any other custom settings for your mouse just go ahead and turn that off we basically just want raw one-to-one -one input so any other weird settings like that you guys can just disable for your mouse once you're done with the software go ahead and close it out like i said if your mouse does have onboard memory now would be the time to uninstall that software completely from your computer so once you're done go ahead and go back go to the windows mouse optimization the files in here are all open source you can right click and click edit these settings of course are all mouse related basically it's just setting the mouse to be pixel perfect we're disabling mouse acceleration and also reverting the mouse sensitivity back to the default value as well as setting mouse threshold one and two to zero basically this just means that no acceleration is kicking in at all so once you're ready to run the scripts go ahead and double click on them this one will run successfully then double click on this one click yes and then click okay once you're done with that you're good you can go ahead and go back then go to disable mouse driver power saving again everything's open source all this is doing is disabling power saving on the driver your mouse uses so what we're going to want to do is close out of this copy this you can either right click it and click copy or press Control c then go to shell startup the files in here in shell startup are files that will start up when your computer starts up with you. So if we type in startup here and go to startup apps, you can see I have it in here. So it's going to be in here, disable driver power saving. So the script will run automatically when our computer starts up. And that way our mouse drivers are not in power saving mode every time we start our computer up. So we can close out of this. And then we just want to make sure disable driver power saving is copied into shell startup. So I already have it in here. So I'll just delete it. But then I'll just paste it back in there for you guys. And that's how you'll do it there. So once you verify that's in there, close out of this, go back, 
go to force polling rate. So what you're gonna wanna do is check what polling rate your mouse is on. Remember earlier how I set it to 2000? If you guys also did 2000, then what you're gonna wanna do is run this 2000 hertz file here. If your mouse doesn't go up to 2000 and it only does 1000, then run the 1000 bat here. And for whatever reason, if you did decide to go to 4000 or 8000, then run this bat here. But since I'm on 2000, I'm gonna run this one. So just double click on it and it'll close out. Then go to setup here. Once you're opened up to this, what you're going to want to do is find your mouse. It'll say compliant mouse here. Now this one also says compliant mouse, but this one's actually my keyboard. And you can see it says keyboard here, but this one also says keyboard. So how do we find out which one our actual mouse is? The easiest way to tell is just check the polling rate. So we can see this one goes up to 8,000, just like my mouse does. But my keyboard only goes up to 1,000. And that's honestly just the fastest way. So while you're in here, you can lock your keyboard to the maximum polling rate as well if you really want to. But for the context of this video, what we want to do is just set the value of what we set in the software in here as well. So by default, it'll just say a default like this. So click on it, click 2000. The reason why we're doing this is we're locking the mouse at 2000 polling rate. Even though we set it in the software, it's still going to scale down when it thinks the mouse isn't being used. And this can literally happen even in games. So while you're gaming, why are you trying to clutch up in that 30 man end game when your teammates died on you 20 minutes before and you missed your shot by like one pixel? It literally could be because your polling rate was scaling down because you were hiding in a box for the last 20 minutes and your mouse didn't really think it was being used. So your polling rate was like 300. So we're basically going to lock it at 2000. That way your mouse is always as ready as you are. So once you have your 2000 lock there. What we're going to want to do then is just click install service and then just click restart once. That is going to freeze your mouse and keyboard for a few seconds to so just let it go through. If you get an error that popped up, you can close out of it. The error is usually related to keyboards. It's not relevant to us anyway. So if you did get an error, you can close out of it. This still works, so don't worry. So once it's restarted and you're good, you can close out of this. Go back. Go to disable iMod Intel only. So this is for my Intel boys only. I'm currently on a Ryzen system right now, AMD. So, so this isn't going to work for me, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So again, if you're on an Intel CPU, follow these next steps. Go into this one, go to run first, and then this is read write everything. I have a dot reg in here. If for some reason read write everything isn't opening, it's giving you some kind of error, then you need to run this registry and then restart your computer and then it'll work. But basically once we're good, go ahead and open up read write everything, click next. You can just spam next and then launch it. It'll look like this. Once it's launched, you can literally just close out of it. Then go back one and go to put this in C drive and then click on this and then copy it. Press control C or just right click and click copy and then go to C and then press control V. So in the C directory, just paste that PowerShell script there. Then go back, go back again, and then put this in shell startup. So copy, disable iMod, go to shell startup, and then paste it in there. And like I said earlier, this is just gonna disable iMod every single time your computer starts up. Basically what this is, is just power saving for your USB ports on your motherboard. And of course we don't want that. Like I said, I'm on an AMD CPU, so I'm just gonna delete this, go back, go to my C drive and delete this as well. But for you guys on Intel, you'll wanna keep it in there. What we're going to want to do then is go to import power plan. This is my custom power plan and it's really going to make your mouse feel 10 times better as well as your overall system. This power plan literally cuts your system interrupts in half. It's going to be a night and day difference just with this one thing. All you need to do to import it is just double click on it. It'll say import power plan. It'll run and close. Then go to edit power plan and make sure your active power plan is mine. So once you're done with that, you're good to go. Close out of this. Go back. If you guys want me to optimize your mouse, keyboard, your BIOS, hidden BIOS, full Windows optimization and everything for you, book an optimization on my website, science.net, where I take care of everything for you. And that way you have full peace of mind knowing that you literally have the best optimizations on the planet. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you guys like the video, be sure to like it, subscribe if you're new here, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.